Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a reverse dyed horizontal fan fold shirt. To begin, I washed the shirt in the washing machine and so it's just barely damp from plain water. I haven't soaked it in anything, but I have turned it inside out. I'm going to draw a diagonal line from one shoulder of the shirt to the opposite corner of the hem of the shirt. To do this, I'm going to use a straight edge and a washable marker. Now I'm going to fan fold this line beginning at the hem. Once the line is fan folded, I'm going to tie it up with some sinew. I'm going to straighten the fan folds on either side of the sinew line and continue tying sinew lines every two inches down the shirt. The purpose for tying the shirt with sinew in a reverse dye is so that when I add the shirt to the color remover, the color remover can't get under those sinew lines and remove all the color from the shirt. If I just tied the shirt with something like kite string, whenever I dunk or submerge the shirt into the color remover, pretty much all of the color is going to be taken from the shirt and it's just going to be a lighter colored shirt. When I add in the sinew lines, the area under those lines doesn't have the color removed and part of the original color of the shirt shows through.
Now that the shirt is tied, I'm going to go ahead and add a rubber band on top of the last sinew line on each end of the shirt. Hopefully this will keep the sinew from unraveling when it goes through the washer and the soda ash soak. Now it's time to begin the color removal process. I'm going to remove the color from quite a few shirts all at the same time. So I've placed these shirts down inside of a plastic tub or tote, and I'm doing the whole entire process outside. This color remover does have a smell, and it's a powder, so I like to work with it outside, and I wear my respirator while I do this. For this process, I'm using a product called Out White Bright Color Remover. I'm going to sprinkle that on top of all of the shirts inside of the tub. I find this product inside of my local store in the laundry aisle right by like the bleach or some of the other laundry supplies. However, if you're having trouble or difficulty finding it in your area, I have a link below this video in the description for where you can purchase it from Amazon. Once each shirt has been coated with some powdered out white bright, I'm going to grab some boiling hot water from my stove and pour it on top. As you can tell, the out begins to work immediately removing the color from the shirts. This shirt is the shirt at the bottom of the container. I'm going to add some more boiling hot water to the shirts in just a few minutes, but right now I'm working on trying to remove the color from a spiral. If you're interested in watching that video, it's already uploaded onto my YouTube channel. I'll leave a link down below where you can find the video. I'm adding some more boiling hot water to the container, and then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more of the out on top of the water. This whole entire process takes less than 10 minutes to remove the color from the shirts. After the color removal process, I took the shirt to my sink and rinsed it in cold water. Then I put it, along with the rest of the shirts, into my washing machine. I just left it tied, and I washed it using a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent. Then I took it out of the washer and put it into my soda ash solution and allowed it to soak for 20 to 30 minutes. Then I wrung it out of my panda spin dryer and I set it aside to allow it to dry out really well. As you can tell, the sinew did pretty well going through the washer and the soda ash soak and being spun out. There was one very small area that was a little frayed, so I just used my scissors and trimmed that up. But all the sections are still tied nice and tight. For this shirt, I decided I would use only three colors. I'm going to use Watermelon and Raspberry from Dharma Trading Company and Black Bang from Custom Colors. I'm going to begin by adding watermelon to every other section on this side of the shirt, and I'm going to add a different color to the other side or the back side of this watermelon. So I don't want to oversaturate. Now I'm going to turn the shirt over. As you can see, the watermelon is already starting to come through to the back side, so I can tell the sections where I applied the watermelon on the front side. I'm going to add raspberry from Dharma to all the sections that do not have the watermelon on the front side. Here again, I'm going to add a different color to the back side, so I don't want to oversaturate. I wasn't entirely sure what to do with the very ends of the shirt. Since they're so thin, it's really not going to work to put another color on the back side, so I just dyed them entirely raspberry. So 
So now on the back side of where I placed the raspberry and the watermelon, I'm adding black bang from Custom Colors. Anytime you work with black, black is such a strong color, you want to make sure you don't oversaturate with the black if you're using it along with another color. Otherwise, it will pretty much override and overtake the color you're working with. So I'm adding the black to these sections, but I'm trying not to oversaturate them. Once the shirt is dyed, I'm going to set it aside and allow it to process for at least 24 hours. Then I'm going to take the shirt to my utility sink and begin rinsing it in cold water. I rinse in cold water to get out any of the soda ash that's left in the shirt. And then I'll gradually warm the water up to hot to try to rinse out any of the excess dye that hasn't bonded with the shirt. After I untied the shirt, I continued rinsing in hot water for a while longer, and then I went ahead and just decided to soak the shirt. I put the shirt inside of my utility sink and added some hot water, along with a little bit of Blue Dawn dish detergent. And I just allowed the shirt to soak. When the water cooled off, I changed out the water and continued the soaking process until most of the excess dye was removed and the water was almost clear. As you can see when I initially unwrapped it, it was pretty dark, but a lot of the excess dye went ahead and soaked out and then it still lightened up some more when I put it in the washing machine. I washed it in the washer using some hot water and a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent. And after it came out of the washer and dryer, this is what it looks like. So I really like this shirt. What do you guys think? I think it looks very unusual. I think the raspberry and watermelon work really well together. And I like the addition of the black in there. Even though this is a reverse dye, I don't see a whole lot of that original shirt color in this shirt. I can see all the sinew lines that I tied, but I don't see a lot of that dark gray left in the shirt. It may just be that it doesn't look quite as dark up next to the black. I'm not really sure, but I do think the shirt looks really cool. I added the black and I do think it adds to the shirt, but thankfully it doesn't just overtake everything in the shirt. Also right in that middle section, the shape that was formed from the folds, after it was dyed, I think it looks like chromosomes. It looks pretty cool. So that's what I'm gonna call this shirt, my chromosome shirt. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of the shirt. And if you enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.